So Tesla just released FSD Supervised. So right now they're moving away from the beta testing. So in today's video, I'm gonna take my Model Y out on the road and we're gonna get my initial thoughts, the initial drive and see how it's going to do. And we're starting right now. Before we get started, we're going to go to the autopilot menu. And from there, we're going to click there. The first option you have is traffic aware cruise control, standard cruise control. The second one is auto steer beta, and you have all of the settings there, but we're going to scroll and do the third option, which is full self driving. You're going to read through all of that after you agree to it, click on yes. And in order to enable FSD on your drive, you want to look for the steering wheel icon right there. And on your gear shift, we're going to press it down two times one two now you can see that FSD is enabled and we are leaving this parking lot here so at this point I'm going to see how few times I have to really intervene with the car because with the supervised now they say that you're not going to get as much of the nagging that you did with the beta because it is tracking your eyes however I did put on shades I'm not sure why for the video but hey so let's see how we do so that turn was very natural. So now we're on one of these back streets. My hands are not on the wheel at all. And from there, you can see that the camera makes sure that it has a clear view of your face. And this is really just a very natural feel ride. We are going very naturally. It's 30 miles per hour. We're going right at about 35, 34. It peaked there at 37. So we are coming up to a stop sign. So whenever we get up here, let's see how this is gonna go. The car automatically signaled before it got to the intersection. And pulling up to the stop sign, you can see the car came to a complete stop. And let's look the other way. And the car is somewhat hesitant, but it is still a very natural feel. And we got out there with no problem and we are off. Now, FSD right now is $12,000 if you pay for it up front or $99 a month, and that pays for itself in 10 years. That's if you plan on keeping your car for 10 years. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comment section below. The speed limit right now is 35. We're going 42. I set my max a few percentage points higher than the speed limit. So this is the first time, all of this time is telling me to... Uh, put some pressure on the wheel. So I am not receiving as many nads as before. So it is true. It seems that they're tracking your eyes more so than holding the wheel. Beforehand, it would have been nagging the whole time. But the cool thing with this Yolt steering wheel that I have that I got on evbase.com, and you can get this yoke or any accessory for your Tesla or EV. I mean, they have Rivian stuff, they have Cybertruck stuff as well. You can get 20% off of any accessory when you use the special promo code Just Frugal Me at checkout. And even as riding on this road right now, there is no anxiety. Some people be like, hey, the car is driving itself. But with the supervised version that Tesla put out, it is very predictable. So this is a natural feel. Right now, we are coming up to more of a congested area here. Before it was open road. So now it seems that we have more stop signs, more curves coming in. And the car is taking this very naturally. It really feels like there's somebody behind the wheel and they're driving, almost like if you're in an Uber. We are continuing to just go down this stretch of road, but we are gonna be turning, it looks like, in about 0.3 miles that we are gonna be making a turn. So I'm very anxious to see. So again, it's telling me to apply pressure. So again, I am going to just touch the wheel a little bit. However, like with the yoke, you can just rest your hands right there and use it as an armrest. So again, check it out on evbase.com because it is so worth it. It takes probably a day to get used to the yoke, but after that is a very natural feel here. So now we're coming up to a railroad track here. So let's see if we're gonna slow down or what's gonna happen. And you can see it is slowing down a little bit, but once we got in the middle, it started accelerating. So that was a little different, but it wasn't horrible. The car is putting on the signal again, and we are about to make 
this right turn. So the car is looking both ways. I know that sound weird talking about a car, but it's assessing what's coming both ways. You see, there's a car that's about to pass. Well, there that car made a turn. So now we are turning out onto the road. And that was actually pretty impressive pickup speed. That was very natural. That's how I would have done it. We are getting over to the left lane. You can see there's someone walk. Okay, they moved out of the way. So we are continuing to drive. See, it's showing the pedestrian right there. Came up to a red light. So sitting here at this red light, let's see. Oh, it didn't last long at all. So the guy is actually on the skateboard. Pretty cool. So it is telling me to apply force to the steering wheel. I wonder if it's because the guy was like on the road and the car wanted me to make sure like, hey, there's somebody on the road. But this is a very natural drive. It's a very natural feel here. I'm using the yoke steering wheel as an armrest right now. And we are coming up to another intersection. I have the green light here. So, which is pretty cool. Now, this is a weird intersection here. I need to get over, but I'm in the straight lane. And it seems like there are cars coming up in my blind spot. So, I'm stopped and cars are coming up in my blind spot here. I need to turn, but I'm in the straight lane. Another car. Oh, there's like a line of cars here, if you can see this on the screen. So I'm very curious at this point exactly how the car will handle this situation. I need to make a left turn. However, we're in the wrong lane. So let's just pan out just to see what's going to happen here. And I wonder down here in Georgia, will the good people be have that southern hospitality to let me over it appears not it's seen my blinker but the car is still going so let's see oh wow the car made that turn anyway but luckily there were two lanes there so and excuse the sun um hopefully that you can still see what's happening here on the screen so we're at another intersection which everything seems to be good the guy next to me, though, he's looking at me a little crazy, but I gave him a little nod like, good morning. I need to get like a sign that says, hey, I'm not driving, but it's all good because this is so far beyond what it was with a beta. Beta, you had a lot of hiccups, but this seems to be a very natural feel. And that was a good acceleration. This car is turning. The car is turning in front of me. And you can see we really didn't slow down at all for that car uh, that was turning in front of us. Uh, that was a little close to my comfort, but we didn't hit them. So I guess that's a win for FSD supervised. Uh, I do have my setting on assertive, so that probably has something to do with it. So we're coming up to our turn here, and we're almost concluding our trip. We're going right here to this library. So let's see. We're coming up down the street. The car already said, oh, there's someone coming head on traffic. We are yielding, yielding for this car. Going on, turning into the parking lot. And uh, sorry for the sun. It is a bright day here in Georgia. So we are 100 feet from my destination and said we arrived at our destination and the car has come or is coming to a complete stop one miles per hour zero so we're here at our destination without any autopilot disengagements and for more videos about your tesla and tips that you need to know check out the videos right here on your screen be sure you subscribe for more content on your tesla and i will see you in the next video